Welcome to sunny Florida. It's good, we need it in My grass needs some help too. Hey, what's up, Familia? Welcome back and thank you for tuning in once again. Well, it's 4th of July weekend and it's about a week or two removed from Father's Day. This is what uh, wifey got me for Father's Day and I couldn't be more excited. It is the Pelican 70 quart uh, roto molded cooler. Roto molded just simply means it's it was molded in a big vacuum thing. I think that's what it means. Somebody will correct me. Anyway, this is my brand new cooler. It is in seafoam green. They come in different colors. I am not being uh, sponsored. I'm not being paid. I get nothing from this other than pure satisfaction of, of being blessed with such a wonderful gift. I just want to share it with you and I want to go over a couple of points. I've seen a multitude of YouTube videos and reviews talking about the Pelican coolers, the Yetis, the Arctics, and, and all of the other coolers that are out there that are in the same genre and, and price point as this particular one. This particular one, Pelican for me, was a wrap because I happen to be a Pelican fanboy. Uh, being uh, in the military for so many years, Pelican makes great cases, gun cases, camera cases, radio cases, uh, general purpose cases, and we beat those things up and we took them all over the world uh, into some unforgiving places and they stood up and they stood out and they, and they withstood the test of time. So for me, Pelican was a lock. Uh, now the price point was uh, was significant. Uh, this particular cooler, uh, your jaw may drop, was four hundred dollars. Um, but if you go to PelicanCoolers.com, and I'll leave a link in the description below, at this particular time they had these coolers on sale, the seventy quart for three hundred and nineteen dollars. Uh, that at least Florida was no tax, and it was drop shipping, and it was free. And I got it in about three days. And they have other different colors. Okay, beyond that. Uh, the other thing was uh, that I particularly like about this Pelican, I'm just going to go over some of the features real quick, and, I, and I've, got the, uh, I've got the little uh, book that came with it. It is the 2017 Pelican Elite Coolers line. They have all kinds of coolers from small personal size coolers uh, to much larger coolers than this. This one fit my lifestyle, this fit what I like to do, and they're, one of their claims to fame is uh, 10 days of ice uh, retention within it. I, I, I'm not going to need it for 10 days, but what I did want was a good cooler that could stand up to the elements. I go fishing quite a bit. Um, I'm always out and about with my wife, and oftentimes for us, we just like to pack something in the cooler and we like to go. And this was the best way to do it. It does retain ice. You do have to, should read the instructions to learn how to, prep, how to prepare it in order for it to have good ice retention. Okay, enough of that. So, molded in handles. So it's got great molded in handles. I really, they're, they're very beefy and large handles, uh, but I will tell you this, um, you can even hold them with gloves. And, and for me, I think it's, it's also lighter than the previous editions. It's still pretty hefty. It's about 30 pounds. I think it's, a, I, I can't remember the exact weight, but it is. Anyway, so it's got the molded in handles, very easy to grab hold of. You can grab two folks on the side. My recommendation is if you're gonna heat if you're going to put this thing anywhere after you condition it and get it ready to, to take wherever you're going to go, um, have somebody help you load it up. All right. Press and pull latches. Um, I won't make, I, I'll make a comparison, but not because I prefer, I, obviously I prefer this one. But unlike some of the other coolers, this particular one has a press and pull latch system, which secures the cooler. It does, it does lock down. And uh, I, I guess it's a visceral thing. I like that it locks. It tells me that it is secure. So that's a good thing. It is corrosion resistant. It's made of, um, it's made of, well, it's made of like a plastic uh, thing, material. I don't know. But uh, it is very, it is corrosion resistant. It's supposed to be grizzly bear resistant. I think they had some sort of testing where they checked it against uh, to see the durability for a grizzly, see if they can break into it within 60 minutes, something to that effect. You can look that up somewhere else. It's got, it's got a built-in bottle opener. Hello, gentlemen. Look, long gone are the days. If you decide to get one of these where you have to jerry-rig a bottle opener, you know, kind of drill a little thing on the side, get your bottle opener, put some sealant on it, there's your bottle opener. Boom, cool, custom cooler. 
Uh, this one has a bottle opener, and it is right here. And yes, I plan on using it. Uh, so that's good. Um, and it is solid. It looks like it's solid steel, um, stainless steel. It is, uh, it is built in, and it's integrated into the latching and security system of it as well. So you can actually secure the contents of your cooler. So some folks may say, why would I need to lock a cooler? Well, I mean, if you, you're carrying T-bone steak or something like that, and I don't know, Grizzly Bear wants to get a hold of it or some, somebody, uh, make it that much harder to get in. I don't know. But lock your stuff up. Anyway, it's secure. Non-skid feet. Uh, close this bugger. See if I can show it. So non-skid feet. These are rubber feet, and it really does hold well. I have put it on a, on a multitude of surfaces, and not one place has it skidded or moved, and that's with nothing inside of it. So I would imagine when I fill it up, it'll definitely sit in place. For me, in the boat or in the truck, I need something that's going to be solid. I don't want my cooler to be flying all over the place, especially when I'm in, uh, when I'm in route somewhere. So I need this to be able to secure, and I like that. The molded in tie downs. It also has tie down points on the sides. It has a tie down point, and you can get them under the accessories. But, um, I, I mean, I don't know what your situation is if you're uh, tailgating or something like that. You want to secure this. Obviously, you can't secure it. Uh, these are some of the tie downs that I have. These are not made by um, Pelican. These actually came with my Coleman coolers that came with my boat, but they do work just as well with the straps put through the air, put through the uh, retention system, and I can lock them down. So that's something to do. Um, the engineer drainage, that's kind of cool how they call it engineer drainage. It's a drainage system. So. Let me show you the engineer, the engineer drainage, that's what they call it out. So, I, I mean, what's good about it, um, on the inside of the cooler, and I'll show you on the inside in a second, uh, it's got a little, it, it, it's molded so that the water will run towards the opening, and you can actually attach a drain hose, which in my case would probably be good, because if I want to get rid of some water and I don't want to take it off the boat, I can attach the hose and I can drain it away from the, uh, from the, uh, from the boat or from wherever I am. Um, I don't know what to say about the, the plastic cap. It's a plastic cap. Some folks complain that it drips. I mean, pull the cap off. It's got a screw. Put some sealing around it. Slap it back together. That's kind of all I could say about that. Um, so, some of the other things I want to I want to highlight. It's made in the USA. Uh, look, made in the USA. I like that. I, that that means a lot to me. Am I willing to pay a little bit more? Absolutely. But like I said, Pelican has made its money for me from day one. I want to invest back in my country, made in the USA, America, hello. Okay, so enough about that. The other thing is it has a lifetime warranty. The cooler itself has a lifetime warranty. I think the drain and the, <coughs> and the gasket that seals the top, that seals in the, uh, the cooling area, I think those are only warranty for 90 days. However.com, you can either order a new one if this one goes astray or this one gets molded or whatever it is, uh, or just go to an automotive parts store and order one. I pulled the dimensions. I don't have the dimensions, but I think I can pull it up. Put one in yourself. It's so not hard to do, and it's well worth it. And, uh, yeah, I'm anticipating that this will eventually fail. It is what it is, okay? And if you look on the inside, which I, I hosed it down earlier, um, there's the drainage system. Again, it is 70 full quarts capacity, so you're looking at 70 quart capacity, not 65 or 48 or whatever it is. It's 70 quarts, 60, 66 liters. There it is, Pelican. So, oh, last thing. This weekend, 4th of July weekend, PelicanCoolers.com, again, I'll leave the link below, in the description below. This particular price point for this one, I know Jaws will drop, it's $400. I got this for $319. $319, drop shipped, free, and no tax in Florida. For me, I didn't pay any tax in Florida. So it's $319 out the door. I got it in three days, and that's with this color being unavailable. This is seafoam. They have uh, oranges, and they have a white, and they have a couple of different colors that I really like. Last but not least, what I really like, especially as a fisherman, is it that it has a ruler on the top catch a fish you want to harvest that fish make sure you have the right size 
uh, just do the right thing. You don't want to get caught by the, the, the game warden with a, with a short fish, but at the same time, you, you want to harvest with the, with the right size. It's also got a metric as well, centimeters on the top. So it's got a 26 inch rule. Uh, fishing in the salt water, though, I'm hoping to pull much bigger than 26 inch. All right, that's it, folks. Have a great 4th of July weekend. Don't drink and drive. Be safe if you're using fireworks. Man, celebrate America. This is a great country. There's great people in it. You have your freedom. Man, enjoy yourself. Enjoy your family like I always tell you. Que Dios me lo bendiga y me lo acompañe. May God bless you and keep you safe. Until the next one. Pelican. Pelican. Pe Pelican. Pele I, I just like saying Pelican. Pelican, pelican, say hello to my little friend. Being a pelican, because I am a pelican. I just want to, like, put, like, this stuff. Cop an attitude with me. I mean, how good are you? I can't even fit my, my, oh, I see what the problem is. Pelican and a Yeti. <laughs> Dude. Are you sure you want to go through with this? I mean, look, you already got one. I got to be honest with you. You're looking pretty cool. You're spelt. You're young. You don't want to put something on you that you're not going to be able to take off. And you want me to do it? <laughs> Are you sure? All right, man. All right. Just, just, oh, it's okay. It may or may not hurt. I don't know. All right, here we go. You ready? Are you ready? All right, let's, let's just take a look at it. Yeah, we're gonna put you on there. Boom! New Eurekin! Welcome to the Brotherhood. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, let me break it off! Break it off! What is your problem, man? Bro, you're an embarrassment, man. <laughs>